Hello guys, welcome to today's episode of AMZ's Corner. I got this here set up, doing a leak down test on the fuel pump. I want to see if it's got a bad injector or a bad pump. So we're going to let that sit for a little bit. That's not the topic of today's video. But maybe we'll come back and this is going to tell me if I got to take the intake off or the gas tank out. So let's go see the topic of today's video. Now, out back, we've got some vehicles out here that you just kind of forget about. Um, some of you know, projects we get from someone else. And we've got two kind of neat things out here. Something kind of, kind of dear to my heart because my father and my uncles always had some version of this. And we'd go off-road. We used to live in a place with a lot of trails. And we'd always have some version of the original big SUVs. Now here we got this 87 1500 K5 Blazer. Now this is something that it runs. Um, before I started here the boss had, had someone do some body work uh, and at some point when we get some other projects done we'll move on to this. If anybody shows interest in seeing it done in one of these videos Maybe we can fast track it. Yeah, just like the pickups, the old 80s Chevy pickup fronts. Now, what I really like about this, and it was the same feature was uh, used by Ford with the Bronco and Dodge with the Ram Charger, was this whole back, all this back unbolts from right here, the B pillar, and comes right off, and you've got an open an open rear and all of these all of this type of truck from this area era kind of use that it's not really the easiest it's not like taking off a set of t-tops I mean you're not gonna I don't think anyone's gonna be able to do it alone I think when I was younger I might have done it once on something I think my buddy had a Bronco I built up for him I think I might have taken the top off by myself once and never again and there's some bolts bolts down along the seam you unbolt a couple bolts up up here on the roof and then two guys can just put it off when you need a place for it which was sometimes another issue this is four wheel drive most of these were uh, some were two wheel drive I don't know why you'd want one of these that wasn't all wheel drive four wheel drive all wheel drive and there it is the in everything Chevy 5.7 350. We've all seen those before. And this still runs, this still drives well, runs well. It's not really all rotten out. So at some point, this is going to be restored. Another thing I liked about these was uh, I've, I've done a lot of snow removal been putting trucks and stuff for snow removal and my favorite truck to plow in is one of these type of trucks it doesn't really matter if it's the Chevy the Ford I don't really see we don't really see very many of the uh, the Ram chargers anymore but uh when you plow with these they plow like all like dynamite and you can take and set up some stuff in the back so if you're plowing with a storm you know sometimes here in New England we can be in a truck 20, 30, 40, I think, I think my record is like 48 hours straight in a truck plowing. And something like this, you can fold the seat or take the seat out and put an air mattress or an old mattress in there. And you can take a little nap while you're plowing so that you can do it longer. Uh, in a pickup truck, that, that kind of sucks. <laughs> but in something like this was, a, was always a little bit of a gem. And might as well show it. We come over here. There's the sonnet. It's all hunkered down, waiting till Sunday. And we have another one of those blazers right here. Now this one's uh, in a bit rougher shape. And this one 
really rotten out, which is kind of what we see more of around in New England. I'm not really going to open the door because that plow's in the way, but you get the idea. This has the the buckets and the red interior. But this one's full of bees nests, so we're not going to get too close. So guys, until tomorrow, keep it out of the cabbage.